Good morning. It is Monday and I'm in Wales. I ended the last vlog when I was coming here to cook for an event on Saturday. I did not vlog the whole weekend because my camera died and then I just lost the motivation. So it's Monday. Hugo and I are working from here till tomorrow night and then we go back to London. Just walked around the lake. It's cold, it's not a nice day, but I feel so good just being out here. And yeah, I'm gonna take you along this week and we'll see where this video goes. Good morning. <laughs> this is how I look today. Also, I'm sorry if the washing machine is loud in the background, um, but I have to shoot a pay partnership today and I'm going out for dinner tonight and my hair is so greasy, but I couldn't wash it this morning because we have a plumber here and so <laughs> I'm like left with really dirty hair. But I've washed my fringe, which is the important part. And I've got it in my roller. And I'm just going to show you my knack. If I have greasy hair. My roller is my new thing. Just gives my fringe a bit of volume. Because sometimes I have quite a long fringe. And sometimes it's a bit flat against my face. My hair is not feeling good. Okay, so I brush it i'm obviously leaning into the greasy thing by doing like a slick back situation but i use this which is the crown affair finishing gel i do not think you can actually get this in the uk so this is probably useless unless you're willing to pay a lot for shipping but i got my sister to get it for me when she was in America for work. So if you know if I'm going to America or if you're going to America. I haven't used many other like styling gels or stuff, but this feels so good and also the smell. So I put like a good amount on. And then firstly, I just put it through my hair. Feels quite like wet at first, but you actually need quite a lot to make it actually work. Also, I just think that the slick back look is so chic and it just makes me feel like I've got my life together when I've got my hair slick back. Okay, so once I've got it in, I have this thing, which I think is for styling anyway, even though mine's quite minimal. And then I just like brush the gel in so that it actually looks neat before it dries. And actually, quite bad at putting it in the back because obviously I can't see that. So I'm gonna remember to put some in the back today because look good from all angles. Usually I only, this I actually find slicking back my hair in like a low bun or whatever way easier because I find it easier to do because it's like naturally how my hair goes at the parting anyway. But obviously you can do it like high, it just takes more work and you need to like really brush it into play. So that is that. And then I'm literally gonna just do it in a clip. Actually, 
So I've got one hair tie and I'll do it in a ponytail first and then I'm just gonna get another hair tie. And then let's see how successfully I can do this on camera, but I just like twist my ponytail and then twist it around and then hook it under there and tie it round. And then I will use like a bow or a scrunchie because that kind of corrects anything around the bun that needs correcting. So that is that, that was so easy. And then I just take the <laughs> curl out and when you first take it out, it's like crazy. Obviously I'm not gonna wear my hair like that, but once you brush it out, this is still a bit voluminous. I think it's because I washed my friend, but basically it should start to like sit a bit nicer. Um, I try and do this like in advance to when I'm actually gonna be going out or want my hair to look nice. But if it's too voluminous, <laughs> I'll just pass it a little bit and I quite like my friend parting in the middle or just the side. But yeah, that was so easy and that has just made me feel like I've actually got my life together. And that is the bun. I'm gonna put a bow in it so I'll show you. But yeah, that's it. filmed quite a bit for my vlog this week. Started the week off in Wales. I was cooking there for an event and then I was gonna film it but my camera died and hadn't taken the spare battery to Wales and I was just focused on the cooking. So I didn't record much in the end but I, yeah, I'm feeling very flat today. I went out for dinner with my manager, beautiful, wonderful Alana last night. I had two glasses of wine and I'm hung over. I literally don't know how that's happened. I think maybe I went to meet Hugo with some friends afterwards, just for a quick, like 45 minutes. And we actually ended up getting home quite late. And I get up super early at 6, 6.30. So I think I only had like six and a half hours of sleep, which actually is not enough for me. I need like a good eight hours. But yeah, today I've just, I've scrolled a lot on my phone. I've been feeling negative, uninspired, and for no particular reason. But I think that just happens. And that's like, I get wound up because I've been feeling really good and feeling really like inspired and energetic recently. But I think it's just part of it. So I... Also, it's, it's the 7th of December and this is the May, the mad Christmas season. So I think just part of it is that. I've got quite a bit of work to get finished before Christmas. I've handed in my last paid partnership today. Thank you for always supporting my Instagram content. The paid partnerships on there I would only ever do with people brands who I really, really value anyway. And um, I understand that like content creators at Christmas, there's quite a lot of sponsored paid stuff, but it is my salary. That's how I make money to be able to do all the other stuff I do. And I really, yeah, I just really, really appreciate you supporting that and just know that I'm working with brands always that I actually would buy or do buy and support anyway. And following on from that, I just wanted to say a massive thank you to everyone who has commented liked and viewed my videos on here especially the comments they have genuinely been what's driven me to be making these videos more regularly and i'm so like appreciative every single comment just means the absolute world and so yeah thank you so much i really genuinely appreciate it and you are what's motivating me to make more regular videos so thank you it is quarter to five also Another reason why I'm just feeling gross today is because we are having our shower fixed and I have not washed my hair in, I don't know, an embarrassing amount of days. It is so <laughs> dirty and 
You know when you just, ugh, you just want to wash your hair and it makes you feel good? I'm going to a hot yoga class at 5.30, which I know will make me feel good because I will need a sweat and I will need a bit of stretching and exercise. Being in a room for an hour with no screens. Um, and I have no plans today, tonight. Hugo is at his work Christmas party. So is my brother. And I just... <laughs> Usually I'd be like, oh, what should I do? But I'm gonna have no plans. I'm gonna chill. I'm gonna go to yoga. I'm gonna come and have a bath and wash my hair and make dinner for myself and just get myself back into a good headspace because I do, I'm good at registering that I'm in a grumpy mood, but it doesn't help me get out of my funk. And I feel like I'm sure everyone can relate. It's like the last push to Christmas. I've just signed in the pay partnerships I have to do. I have some underlying work that is ongoing, which is for some exciting things coming up next year. But the supper club on Tuesday is my last like event. So that is my final push. I tested the cake recipe today for that and I don't want to share it yet because this video will hopefully go out before my supper club and I want the menu to be a surprise. Um, but yes, I'm gonna leave you now and maybe I will check in this evening and take you along for my night in. <laughs> Also, the last thing I just quickly want to say is there's a lot of social pressure to do things at this time of year that we put on ourselves that, like, society puts on us for silly season and that also we see on social media. And I just want to say, if you're feeling overwhelmed and socially anxious and you don't really want to go out because you just want to stay at home and be by yourself, that is totally fine. Make sure you are taking time for yourself, make sure you're having nights in, Make sure you're having some evening time off your phone, morning time off your phone. I do not turn my phone on till at least 9am in the morning and it's off by like 7pm. Just make sure you take some time for yourself because there's this culture of like go, go, go until Christmas and then flop. But I think it's just really important that we try and stay in a balanced, calm state and we're looking after ourselves at this time of year. I'm going to drive to yoga because... I'm feeling super lazy and it's raining and I feel like I already I'm kind of unmotivated to go to this class so I've got to give myself bribes <laughs> to go I just want to like sit down eat a bowl of pasta and go to bed but I know that I will feel good after I do this so let's go I think I left you guys with a clip of me watching The Crown last night, but my, <laughs> I cried so much. I don't know why I, this is not a spoiler, obviously, if you're gonna watch it when Princess Diana dies, cause everyone knows Princess Diana died, but it actually made me ball. <laughs> why it wasn't necessarily her dying uh, but there's a scene where she's having a phone call with William and Harry and obviously it's the last time they speak and it just actually killed me and so I woke up this morning with the most puffy eyes and I've actually put mascara on my friend Lola was wearing the Glossier brown mascara and I bought it and I like it I don't usually wear mascara but yeah, I went for breakfast with my mum at Layla this morning, a lovely bakery, bought the dogs, and, and now I'm going home. I've just been to a pop-up, and now I'm gonna go home and do some work. Good morning. It is Saturday. I feel like I've been a bit all over the place with filming this week, but hopefully I've got some nice clips. It is 11 a.m. and my brother and his wife and their kids are about to come over for brunch. So I just 
got some food on gorillas because I was lazy and I didn't have time to go to the shop. This is what I'm wearing today. My brother's jumper with a bow in my hair, long black, which is actually a long white dress. And then these long boots, which are my new obsession. I said to Hugo last night that I was going to base all my outfits around my new boots. So yeah, got a fun day. I'm going to take you along. I'm tired. I feel groggy. And uh, that's basically it. Let's do this. Oh, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. It is Sunday and pouring with rain. I woke up in a bit of a like flat mood. I don't know why. It's 12 now, so I've just had a really chilled morning. But I just felt really like Phew. I went to a friend's drinks at the pub last night and I missed the cutoff to order food by 15 minutes. So I didn't have supper. Uh, I didn't get back late and had like a good sleep and wasn't hungover. But I think I was actually hungry when I woke up this morning from not eating last night. So that was stupid, I do not like missing meals at all. So I've had an extra big breakfast and I'm just putting another piece of toast in to see me through. And then I've got a big pub lunch with um, friends who got married yesterday. So anyway, I'm gonna end this vlog here. This has definitely been quite all over the place, but it's kind of been a bit of everything this week. And I'm gonna restart a new vlog tomorrow of my supper club, which is on Tuesday. And I'm gonna record the whole process of that. So hopefully that should be fun. I'm gonna try and get this out on Sunday, which is today. And yeah, I'll see you soon. Thank you so much for watching. And as I said earlier in this video, I am so grateful for all the comments you've been sparing me on. So keep them coming. <laughs>